start in two minutes ish. You know, sometimes people say what they mean, and sometimes they don't say what they mean, and we're supposed to know the difference. That is apparent. One, I got hints of this from news from Washington D.C. this week, but also. It's actually in the Torah portion. Abraham Avinu, Abraham is buying a burial plot for his wife, Sarah. Sarah's died. She's 127, which is a nice life. Um, and he says, He says to the residents of the area, I'm just an alien resident with you, meaning that he's, we know that Abraham's an immigrant and he knows that he has to manage how difficult it is um, to adapt to the customs of the locals and the fact that they might be suspicious of him. And he says, and he wants to buy some land. And a friend, the guy who's selling the land to him, says, I don't need. He says, Sir, sir, he says, with such a wish, listen to me. He says, Land that's worth 400 silver shekels between me and you. What is it? Just take it, take it. I won't take any money. Just take it. And the Torah says, Vishmavraham at Ephron, that Abraham heard what Ephron was saying. Ephron said, Take it, it's yours, it's free. But the Abraham heard what he's saying, and he knew that when Ephron says, Take it, it's free, he really means, Pay me every cent. Because that's the only way it makes sense. It says, And Abraham heard what Ephron says, and he paid him 400 shekels. So it only makes sense if you know that human conversations often work when somebody says the opposite of what they in fact mean. And the culture or the relationship between the individuals is what tells you what's really going on. So the translation that's in the JPS in the Eighth Chaim says Abraham accepted, but really it's a, the Hebrew is Abraham heard. Sometimes people say what they mean. Sometimes culture, propriety, politeness, pride, means they say the opposite or something different than what they mean, and it's up to the listener to know. That's what we find in the Abraham story this week. He doesn't go with the words, he goes with the meaning, and he's right to do so. We should remember that in our own time. Sometimes people say what they mean, sometimes the listener has to figure it out. We should all be blessed with being able to figure out when to listen to the words and when to listen to what's just beneath them. Shabbat shalom.